Hey folks, Ned Pyle again, Windows Server Program Manager here at Ignite. I'm going to talk to you today about some news we just kicked out around SMB over Quick. Now, SMB over Quick's been around for a few years. If you ran Windows Server uh, 2022, if you run IS VMs, you might be familiar with it. It is the ability for you to connect to a file server over SMB, not using TCP, not using RDMA, but instead using the Quick protocol. And the Quick protocol is a like a VPN tunnel for applications. It's TLS 1.3. It uh, uses UDP as the you know as its actual transportation mechanism. It goes over port 443, which is very accessible over the internet, and it allows you to connect inside of that with SMB. So I connect to my file server. I can do it from a phone. I can do it from a laptop, and I can feel safe on the internet at my edge device that no one can get in there because not only is there your username and password, and Kerberos, and everything happening, but you also have this completely protected VPN tunnel, VPN-like tunnel, but without having to deal with the VPN itself. Okay, so that's been around for a little while. You may not know about it, but it's been around. And what we just announced a, a couple of days ago is we're going to make that available to Windows Server vNext in all of its editions. So not Azure Edition anymore, but Data Center, Standard, anybody can use this anywhere they want. Use it on-prem, use it at your edge, use it still in Azure, Use it in AWS, use it inside of GCP, I don't care. You'll be able to run that server and use that technology the way it was meant to be, which is for edge all around the world. And then we decided to make some further changes to SMB over Quick itself. So two big changes. One, you can now specify ports. So instead of saying, like I just said, 443, right? What if you wanted to put it over port 995? You're allowed to now manipulate which ports it's used on. If you've got firewall issues, we want to make sure it's going through certain ports in a firewall. Or if you want to crowd your 443 traffic all through someone's one spot for inspection, you can fan it out on different ports. And then also, we added something called client access control. So today, with SMB over Quick, you get a certificate, you put it on the server, the client machine has the same trusted certificate authority, you just trust each other, you go on, you connect. Now, you can add an additional certificate to the client that it passes to the server, and the server can have a list of like, these are the clients that I like, and these are the clients not in my list, this is the rest. And that means that instead of um, trusting the server, you can also now trust the clients and say, I don't want anybody to connect at all, not even the TCP, not, not even the quick connection part. Never mind before they get to the username and password part of SMB. I only want this short allowable list of, of devices to connect by proving to me that they have a certificate that I gave them that this quick server also trusts in an allow list. And so between those three things, I, I think we're really opening up the gates here for people to be able to use SMB over quick, not necessarily even just on mobile devices or on the internet, but even inside of your organization where you want extra layers of security for things like lateral movement and accessing really, 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 really important secure business organizational data. Thanks.